Listen, share, rate, and subscribe to Hip Hop Marvel's podcast available on all podcast platforms and apps and streaming services. Available on Pandora, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Google Play, and more. Yo, this your boy Frank Nitt. And there's rules if you want to get in this Marvel Studios. Don't nobody get in this motherfucker. So rule number one, don't pop your ass up. Don't bring no extra niggas. And you better be ready to write, direct, produce some hot shit. Or you will not get in. Marvel Studios, nigga, you know what it is. Frank Nitt, let's go. We got a lot from your block to the comic shop. On that wavelength, time to sign in. Sign Doug Floyd in. and Hip Hop Marvels are chime, chime in chime on in. topics chime of comics in. brought to expand the hip hop connect with the gauntlet in hand. They got it locked in, they floss in the brand. The block to the comic shop, they cross and examine. Representation spamming and moved on the shelf. And the system is happy with the movement is dealt. We don't wait for the sick to improve on the health. So we pull a Thanos, fine, I'll do it myself. And it to come out extra clean. Extra clean. Fresh for the fans like an extended scene, extended scene, scene with the hip hop and comic dimension. They activate you with gems they present in. Hand in the gauntlet. Yes, we gon' flaunt it. Hip hop marvels are bring you the rawness. The rawness. It's your boy DJ Dub Floyd in the place to be, and in the place to be is DJ Dub Floyd. This is the Hip Hop Marvels Podcast. This is volume two, episode number 16. We're moving on up. Remember to listen, share, rate, and subscribe. We're on Pandora, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Google Play, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, and more. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion, email us at hiphopmarvels at gmail.com and follow us on our social media. Twitter and IG, that's at Hip Hop Marvels, and Facebook, Hip Hop Marvels, all one word. Also, subscribe to the Hip Hop Marvels YouTube channel. I'm chilling in the building here alongside Rick0378, aka The Collector, one fifth of the Hip Hop Marvels, aka The Funky, well, let me rephrase that, The Fantastic <laughs> Funky Four Plus One. The Fantastic Funky Four Plus One, aka The Squadron Supreme. So, yeah, this is Volume 2, Episode 16, and uh, Cash and Claudius, they couldn't be here today, so it's just me and Rick. Yeah, we got a pretty action-packed show today. I'm going to start it off with our brand new Hip Hop Marvel News segment brought to you by Claudius, the Weekly Bugle. I'm going to toss it over to the homie Claudius, and he's going to take it away. We'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. We interrupt this Hip Hop Marvel's episode for our news update with your boy, Claudie McFly. Shout out to the Squadron Supreme. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm your friendly neighborhood, Claudius, and I have your Hip Hop Marvel's news updates. All right, so first up in Marvel news, we have Spider-Man, Miles Morales, the video game. So during Sony's unveiling of the new PS5 console, they gave us a sneak peek of this brand new Spider-Man game. Brian Horton, creative director at Insomnia Games, shared this synopsis. It's now wintertime, about a year after the events of the first game. Marvel's New York is covered in snow. And just before Christmas break, a war between an energy corporation and a high-tech criminal army has broken out. Miles' new home in Harlem is at the heart of the battle. Man, I say that sounds really amazing. Also, the PS5 will be taking advantage of uh, 3D audio with the DualSense controller. They're going to have 4D scans and improved skin shading for more realistic looking characters. The actual city is going to be updated to take advantage of the new capabilities of the PS5. So the story is going to be pretty epic and hopefully expansive. Um, and also, in case you guys were worried like I was, um, Peter Parker is not going to die in this universe. They said there's much more Peter Parker story to tell. So maybe there'll be a team up or hopefully we'll see a Spider-Gwen game or something. We hope you're looking forward to this game as much as we are. It's dropping this fall, so be sure to pick up your PS5 and your copy. 
In Marvel film news, we have uh, a quick update on Black Panther 2, which includes Wolverine. Yep, everyone's favorite X-Men bad boy might show up in Black Panther 2. It might be an um, after credit scene, or it might be like a, like a mid credit scene, but there are rumors that are going around saying that Wolverine might show up in Black Panther 2, which will be uh, maybe dropping in 2022. So that'll introduce the X-Men into the MCU, hopefully. Um, they're saying that he might be a central hero like Spider-Man. His connection to Wakanda will be the adamantium, which is in relation to the vibranium, which is found in Wakanda. So the X-Men might come in with a, to clash with the Avengers, and that might be like phase six. Um, this is all rumor, but people are saying that he might show up uh, during phase five. So we'll see what they have in store for the MCU and um, the X-Men being introduced into the universe. If you guys have any opinions on that, let us know at hiphopmarvels at gmail.com. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say. We're looking forward to Wolverine being a part of the universe, and I think it's time for the X-Men to be a part of the MCU, for real. In comic book news, uh, Jerry Conway, the co-creator of The Punisher, is um, encouraging fans to help him reclaim the Punisher skull symbol from the police in favor of the Black Lives Movement. Over the years, the skull has been co-opted by right-wing campaigners, and most recently, by the police um, in their fight against the Black Lives Movement. So recently, Jerry Conway had this to say, I'm looking for a young comic book artist of color who'd like to participate in a small fundraising project for BLM to reclaim the Punisher skull as a symbol of justice rather than lawless police oppression. To be clear, this little project is open to anyone who wants to contribute their time and effort. It's not a paying gig. It's intended to raise funds to support BLM I hope to use multiple artists with a variety of styles and artistic approaches. So to any comic book fan out there, hit up uh, Jerry Conway on Twitter at Jerry Conway and get your art out there, man. Like support the movement, support this dude trying to do the right thing and reclaim the Punisher symbol for the right causes. In hip hop news, we got rapper No Name um, tweeting J. Cole, probably not really tweeting J. Cole, but making a general statement of... Um, where are the celebrities during these protests? She pretty much like tweeted out, you know, these protests are going on and uh, where are all the celebrities that use the Black Lives Movement or the Black Struggle throughout their career to have something to talk about or something to add to their content, you know? Um, and J. Cole, rapper J. Cole, kind of took this as not an attack but like she was like addressing him as one of the many and he had some stuff to say on his new song um snow on the bluff niggas be thinking i'm deep intelligent fooled by my college degree my iq is average there's a young lady out there she way smarter than me i scroll through her timeline in these wild times and i started to read she mad at these crackers she mad at these capitalists mad at these murder police she mad at my niggas she mad at that ignorance she wear her heart on the sleeve she mad at the celebrities low-key i be thinking she talking about me now i ain't no dummy to think i'm above criticism so when i see something that's valid i listen but shit there's something about the queen's tone that's bothering me she strike me as somebody blessed enough to grow up in conscious environment with parents that know about the struggle for liberation and in turn they provide her with a perspective and awareness of the system and a fairness that afflicts them and the clearest understanding of what we gotta do to get free and the frustration that feels the worst he's a comfort as far as that goes our chance the rapper chimed in pretty much saying that like no name is uh he's cool with no name and he's cool with j cole and he's he was trying to keep the peace uh the twitter people weren't having it they're you know either taking cole's side or taking no name side anyway uh, j cole had none but respect for for no name and um if you haven't heard the track you can look it up on youtube it might be on spotify on, on the streaming apps um so check it out let us know what you think. Um, this might be, just be someone airing out uh, some frustrations on Twitter. But yeah, shout out to No Name, shout out to J. Cole, and shout out to Chance, trying to keep the peace. Um, but for the record, uh, J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar have been seen at protests. Uh, maybe No Name wasn't talking about J. Cole or Kendrick. Surprise, motherfucker. All right, so quick update. Um, this audio will sound a bit different because I'm recording it on my laptop. But No Name did record a response called Song 33, and apparently she is going at J. Cole. So check it out and let us know what you think. Oh, I have ambitions, dreams, but dreams don't come cheap. I saw a demon on my shoulder. It's looking like patriarchy, like scrubbing blood off the ceiling and bleach in another carpet. How my house get on it? My toy and body don't embody all the life she wanted. The baby just 19. I know I dream all black. I say not everything. I'm mortalizing tweets, all caps. They say they found her dead. One girl missing, another one go missing. 
one girl missing another But niggas in the back quiet as a church mouse Basement studio when duty calls to get the verse out I guess the ego hurt now It's time to go to work, wow, look at him go He really doubts to write about me when the world is in smokes When it's people in trees When George was begging for his mother saying he couldn't breathe You thought to write about me? One girl missing, another one go missing One girl missing, another one And finally Recently, um, Styles P. The Ghost posted a picture of him, Jadakiss, Sheik Luch, and the dog himself, DMX, just chilling. Not sure if this means uh, some new music, a new venture, or just some Rough Rider homies just chilling. So, whatever it is, it's good to see the locks and X spend some time together and catching up. That's gonna be it for the updates this time around. If you guys have any news to share, be sure to email us at hiphopmarvels at gmail.com. And in the subject line, put HHM News. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. This has been your Hip Hop Marvel News Update. Back to the show. Flip. Hey, Hip Hop Marvel's podcast. You on that? Your friendly neighborhood plug for all things hip hop and Marvel. All right, we're back. Hip Hop Marvel's podcast, volume two, episode 16. Rashard Brooks, young man who was uh, gunned down by police in a Wendy's parking lot in Georgia. And uh, I've, I've seen the, I don't know if you, have you seen the video? Uh, I haven't seen the video all the way. I'm every time I see a video, it's always different length. Um, some of them are from different angles. I, I need to see a complete, you know, a, a, as far as the most complete version of the video I can see. Right. Right. Well, yeah, I, I, at first I saw like a little, I saw a little clips and then um, they have released like a full dat, like 45 minute version of, the dash cam. Oh, okay, yeah. See, I have like leading all, like everything. I mean, well, I have not seen any version like that that long. Yeah, yeah. And it was just leading up into those final moments. I mean, the way that conversation kept going and going and going, and I was seeing like the climate change. I'm like, I'm like, this, you know, I, I knew it wasn't going to be good. Yeah. So eventually, uh, you know, because basically, so it all started when uh, I guess a uh, cop pulled up and he was blocking the 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 drive through of the yeah, Wendy's. He was yeah, he was asleep and he was blocking the drive through like, you know, cars couldn't get past. One of the cops went up to him and uh, kind of woke him up and uh, he had to do it like twice. And then eventually he pulled off into a parking spot. Another cop came on the scene and got a rundown from the first cop. Seemed like everything was going like everything was pretty cordial from what I was seeing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the back and forth, everything was pretty like you know, it wasn't nothing outrageous or nothing, you know, red flagish about it. You know, he I guess he was he was telling, you know, how he was in town. He was visiting his girl and it's, it was his daughter's birthday, his girl's birthday. He just, he was trying to get something to eat. You know, he had maybe like one or two drinks. So they did a field sobriety test on him. OK, now, now, okay, now that's why I started seeing it. After, like the field sobriety test part. I didn't see the whole thing where he was. I mean, I heard he was asleep, but I didn't see like the video of where he was asleep when the driver in there to come wake. I didn't, I, I didn't see any of that, but I yeah. did see where they started to give him the uh, field sobriety test. Yeah, all of that is on that uh, that forty five minute uh, police dash cam. It's, it was police dash and uh, body cam. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I've heard, I've even seen it from like different angles and things like that. So I just need to see a complete view of, I guess, whatever angle. I guess like the whole. The whole video as far as like the dash cam and I guess is also as far as like the whole video from the um from the uh the cam on the officer. Uh they tried to apprehend him and like you just see the camera get shaky and eventually what they said happened was he had got a hold of one of the officers' taser. But yeah. it had, but it had it had already been deployed. I okay, know. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Um, I saw a view, and I, I'm guessing it might have been from a Wendy's camera or something like that. It was like from a, it was from a distance where he was running, running, yeah, and, and aiming it back and aiming the, the 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 taser back. Yeah, they shot him, and then what I saw earlier today is when they like one of the prosecutors that showed a pic of one of the police officers like kicking him in the head or some shit. And one another one of the officers standing on him or like whatever, why he was dead or why he was already shot. So, yeah. Um, 
I heard about that as well. I haven't seen the the video or any any still photos from that. The thing that's going on right now in my head is, despite the fact that this country, this country is still burning a little bit. You know, all the fires aren't put out from the George Floyd um, riots, and things like that are continuing to happen. Like you see down in Atlanta right now, uh, police officers haven't been responding to calls. Right, they've been they've been calling out sick. And it's, I, I think it's also in response. Most people are, are just attributing it to the George Floyd protest. But now I think a part of it also as well as you, you are seeing now where they're talking about defunding the police. Yeah, they're talking about def- defunding the police, uh, not having any police at all. Well, I'm hearing that uh, a lot of, of the police officers are calling in. Not yeah. reporting to work or calling in sick. Exactly. Yeah, a lot yeah, of them. Well, it, it, a lot it, of them it, had quit. <laughs> you know, it, it's specifically um, down there in, in in Atlanta after the um, Rayshard Brooks murder. Right, right. Um, you know they're doing that, but but like I said, also I think a part of it, or at least half of it, I, I won't say majority. I think half of it has to do with talks of defunding the police. Right. Yeah. Now, 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 with that being said, as far as the funding. The uh, police. I don't think that's a good idea. I do think they need to be trained better. Um, right. I think I think there needs to be a better uh, evaluation system. Um, when you see the history of some of these police, the majority of these police have had multiple incidents where they've been fired from other departments in other states or yeah. other county, and they just move to another state and they become a cop all over again. All over again. There definitely needs to be a better screening process. I mean, honestly, that needs to be part of, if you, if you want to be honest about it, part of it is it has to definitely be part of um, police reform. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, don't, take the, don't take the money away. Spread it around a little bit more. I think they should concentrate in certain areas as far as dealing with the public, um, dealing with, I guess, you know, in some cases, you know, dealing with people of other races. Right. Um, some of that needs that definitely needs to be part of the police reform. I think I think that it, defunding the police is not the answer. Now, if we're talking about as far as like lawsuits and things like that, I think that the police benevolence fund needs to start being um, utilized. <laughs> uh, I'm serious, like financially yeah. utilized in these cases. It shouldn't just be on the the city and the state or the county and the region. Right, because it's like it's like if you do the damage, nigga, you pay for the shit. You clean that up. That's your mess. You know what I'm saying? So that and definitely uh, uh, um, um, having having the police benevolence fund responsible, you know, uh, financially capable of, of handling lawsuits as well as some real jail time. Yeah. These police are acting like they have no impunity because nobody's getting real time. Yeah. Um, Besides, gotta, besides gotta, the movie down there, Walter Scott in, in South Carolina, and if it hadn't been for that gentleman with the video, that probably wouldn't have happened at all. Right, but, right, you know, right. When you think about it, uh, Amber Geiger is not going to really serve any real time. I think she'll be she's up for parole after five. Mm-hmm. If, I, uh, 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 if I'm not mistaken, and she's straight violated. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but yeah, it had it, there has to come a point to where there's some real um, accountability and some real examples and and um and um one more thing about the subject as far as police um and this is part of 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 really what's bothering me right now as well is i haven't heard any kind of response from any black cops Hmm. I, i i really don't understand where in their mind all they see is blue and clearly their fellow officers, their fellow white officers in, in blue, they clearly see black. Mm-hmm. They don't see blue at all. They clearly see black. And yeah. and and these black police officers know things are what's going on in their in their department and they definitely need to step up and um speak up. This goes back to what we talked about, and I think we touched on it last episode. As black people, us as a people, we're very sympathetic, very empathetic. Um, I think there was a portion of the video I saw from the Rashard Brooks 
situation to where you know a black officer walked up and was you know kind of asking was the officer that shot Richard okay and I get I get where you're coming from totally on that you know it's not even just for officers you, you there's there are regular black folk out there that just want to do nothing but cater to white folk or make uh, or, or get it get their approval well you know some of that's like you know I see what you're talking about as far as like um Candace Owens, mm-hmm. um, um, Stacey ben Carson. Dash, yeah, yeah, Ben Carson, and it really bothers me about Ben Carson. Ben Carson, when you really think about what he's done medically, it's you know it 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 it, it honestly is historic, right? And I think he would be a wonderful role model for you know any young black man that would be interested in the medical field and things like that but it's his politics right and the optics that i I, you know that's somebody i would never allow any of my children or my nieces or nephews to even want to be i I, you know i I wouldn't even want them uh, uh to even follow in his footsteps like that just because of what he he doesn't represent us Right, right, right. But these are the kind of people that you're going to put on Fox News. You're going to see <laughs> yeah. TMZ. You know, you, you, you're going to flock to them first before you flock to anyone with intelligence and some kind of worldly view of the situation. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. You know, and I, uh, we definitely got to start controlling the narrative better. I don't know if people really understand what that means, but a narrative is like a story. Yeah. And, and, you know, they've been distorting, they've been distorting the story for years. And now it's definitely time to control the narrative. Um, I like how you put it. I think on the last episode is that we got to keep, we got to keep the pressure on. Yeah. You got to, got to keep that same, keep up that same energy. And the pressure and the energy is still there and I'm liking it. Right. Yeah. Now. I'm loving, I'm loving it actually. Like let's keep it going. You know, now it's definitely time that we just need to organize and, and, and really get, and really let's get a real agenda, you know, Election is coming up in November. We can't mess this one up. No, we can't. We can't. Two, mi- two million black voters didn't show up to the polls last year. Two million. We can't be two million short this year. We got to come out in abundance. Um, so, we yeah. Be, we got to be plus this year. We can't be, it can't be no minus. We got to be plus this year. Definitely. Polls. Definitely. So, yeah. So, you know, um, rest in peace, Richard Brooks. I'll be definitely keep my eye on this whole situation and see how it pans out. Uh, Jerry Conway, known for being the co-creator of The Punisher, one of Marvel's most popular anti-heroes. Jerry Conway is uh, disappointed by the appropriation of the Skull logo by law enforcement in the military, which I've seen it a lot. Being being an ex-military, I've seen it a lot. I've been seeing it a lot lately uh, with law enforcement. This is an article from um, IGN, and it goes, uh, Punisher co-creator Jerry Conway wants to reclaim iconic Skull logo for Black Lives Matter says the Punisher's iconic skull logo has been adopted by members of the police and military for some time now, brandished on their uniforms and vehicles in a variety of ways. But Jerry Conway, co-creator of the Marvel character, has long been an outspoken critic of this appropriation of Frank Castle's iconography. And now Conway has launched a fundraising effort with the goal, as he puts it, to claim the symbol for the cause of equal justice and Black Lives Matter. So I think this is a, I think it's dope, man. I think this is a dope idea. Um, Yo, you uh, you seen the logo? The new one with the yeah, with the, the, black, the, uh, uh, the Black Lives Matter logo. Yeah, with the skull. Yeah, I seen it. Yeah, I'm definitely copping. Definitely copping. Definitely going to support. I, I and I definitely appreciate his support for uh, BLM and for you know for the movement. Um, because you know, um, it's like. Okay, if you guys gonna be negative, and you guys are gonna stick together, every time we look on the news, there's there's you know an innocent black human being being shot, killed, or whatever, or mistreated by the police. Yeah, I'm taking my logo back. I, I get it. When when somebody when someone co-ops what you created, you definitely want to distance yourself um, uh, from that and let them know that you're not going to allow them to um i guess in a sense contaminate 
the logo that he created. Um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm surprised with the Punisher being as popular um, as he is. I, I thought definitely the, the, the logo rights and things like that would have been organized or settled like that, like, you know, a long time ago. Well, I guess it's it's like to the point of uh, it's like to the point of us. We have the Infinity Gauntlet holding the microphone. It's based off of the Infinity Gauntlet, but I guess there's some. Um, as far as I can remember, if I remember correctly, they sent a <laughs> cease and desist order. Well, matter of fact, I, matter of fact, I do know that they sent a cease and desist order as far as the X Men with the Executioners and um, right. Punisher. Matter of fact, Punisher. As far as big pun, right. so that's what I'm saying. Like, like if they were if they were doing that kind of stuff, especially with with, with uh, who we're talking about, as far as like, and maybe because it's the name. Yeah, I think the then I think then is it was more so the name. So that that's where the the difference comes in. You know what I'm saying? There, it's more so okay. This is copy copy written. This is my my prop intellectual property. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to yeah. oh. You're taking my logo and using it strictly for, like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a different cause. It's a different. Right now, your 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 whole movement has everything to do with violence, with with like hate, with you know unjust uh, right. actions, and I don't want my logo to have anything to do with that. Right. It, I think it's dope, a dope continuation of the legacy, Stan Lee put in place man because like stanley let's be honest a lot of his his uh and this is why i fell in love with marvel because a lot of those stories um related to everyday people right well you know there was like the controversy that they got into as far as like drugs if you remember that is right yeah everything was real Uh, like cloak and dagger and daredevil that is you know talking about dealing heroin and they, I don't think if I don't I don't really remember them ever addressing crack per se. I do I do remember heroin being a big part of some of the '80s story, as far as cloak and dagger and um, Daredevil and, he, and uh, even the Punisher, right? Uh, 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 Power Man and Iron Fist. You know, basically, you know, basically with the street heroes as far as like drugs, that's what they're dealing with back then. Right. Right. But yeah, like to add to to what I was saying, like it, it's definitely um, it's I think it's dope to see that what Stan Lee had hoped for in pushing these story, different stories out. So now it's carrying over into you know onto the uh, creators of some of these these characters and some of these stories. Like last episode, I told you about Jim Starlin and how he compared Thanos to Trump. You got <laughs> which was dope. But and you got Jerry Conway, you know, he's like, hell, the hell with it. Like, this, I'm taking my logo back and it's going to be for Black Lives Matter. And you just got different artists speaking out and even going through things. You know, what was we were talking about? Christian Cooper, former editor of Marvel, went through the situation he went through in Central Central Park. And it's like it's crazy because, you know, Marvel is very involved, but they kept pushing the envelope as far as diversity and stuff. So I think that's why a lot of people can relate. Definitely their biggest, probably their biggest diverse achievement was uh, the new X-Men at the time with uh, Wolverine, Storm, Nightcrawler. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sunfire. You had like a bunch of, uh, basically, they were damn near like a Global Guardians. They had like, you know, all from different races and and, and, and right. from really, from, really from across the world that time as being members of the X-Men. So that was, that was also uh, that was huge, and even yeah. as far as like a, a, a Native American with a uh, Warpath. I'm sorry, not Warpath. That's his younger brother, Thunderbird. I think it's great. I think it's an awesome uh, idea. Uh, I love what he's doing, and yeah, shit, take that shit back <laughs> <laughs> for real. Take that shit on back. So yeah, uh, and more Marvel news. Yatiti Badaki, you may know her. From the show American Gods, um, right? She's uh, and and there's been a lot of like fan castings going around. Oh, and this is due. <laughs> a lot of the fan castings have been going around due to the whole Beyonce Storm uh, controversy. Controversy, <laughs> <laughs> I should say. You know, so it was like a rumor that it went out that uh, 
said that stated that Beyonce would possibly be playing the role of Storm in Black Panther 2. And the internet went nuts, including myself, because I was just like, I love Beyonce to death, love the beehive, but uh, nah, it's going to be a nah for me, buddy. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say, you know, if, 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 if I could see a screen test myself, I'd want to see that just to now, see what she would try to do, you know what I'm saying? As far exactly. As like how she would present herself like in an audition or something like that. I'm always um, about I'm always about benefit of the doubt. I'm always about like, you know, uh innocent until proven guilty. So I mean, as far as I'm concerned, she she doesn't have nah. the acting chops. But nah. but 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 what I'm hearing though is that she's supposed to do the whole soundtrack. I don't necessarily want her to do that either. I, I now I wouldn't mind that. I don't I wouldn't mind that so much no. um, again, no, 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 I, no, no, no. the reason <laughs> the reason the reason why i say black that Panther, black panther is supposed to be action packed <laughs> i cannot listen to beyonce but, all the time bro but bro you can't bro but like all you, you can't say you that because have, you know what you have to do a jay electronica and have jay on every track well hey it might be that you know what i'm saying what and that was that's where i was going like if you listen to everything is love the, the joint album that she came out with with Jay-Z, the Carters. Right. That was pretty action packed. So if it was on it's if it's along the lines of that, then I I'm I'm cool with it. Now we got a bunch of ballads and sing songy shit, like shit to put you to sleep, then yeah, I'm against it. I'd rather I'd rather the soundtrack just be diverse. You know, I mean, that, I, I, mean I don't care if, I don't care I don't care if she's on the soundtrack. I don't, you know, yeah. probably have a, a dope song, but yeah. a whole soundtrack of being like like, like, okay, think about think about he got game. Public Enemy was perfect for that. Could they have done that with the whole Missy track? No. <laughs> Could they have done that with the whole who was an R and B singer back then in, in when Public Enemy was out back then? Could they have done a whole Mary J. Blige do a whole soundtrack for He Got Game? No. <laughs> You gotta you know you gotta think about like the movie's gonna entail like Beyonce like I said if she has a song in there or two. I get what so, you say. I get what you're saying, and that's kind of like how what what Kendrick did also with the last uh, Black Panther soundtrack. Yeah, but I see, mean that he, also had that also had like Run the Jewels was on, was yeah, on the soundtrack. Yeah, he was. Through, I mean, and and she may and it may be that she may just be the music coordinator, and which is is fine because I mean no, yeah, no, <laughs> you no. still don't think. <laughs> He still don't. He said, "Hell no, I don't want her no, coordinating the music. I, 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 I don't want that." Not saying like, not saying like. No, I know like, you're not taking nothing away from her. I, okay, I get okay, what you're okay, saying. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me say this. Do you think Beyonce could be a music supervisor for Insecure? Um, hmm, that's a good. No, question. that's a good question <laughs> because I see. I don't know. I don't know her aesthetic on music though. Like, see. Solange was once, you know, she she had did some stuff yeah. for, for the show. I mean, but, do you really think Beyonce but you know, could pick those? But we know how really eclectic Beyonce, Beyonce could pick those kind of songs. I don't. I, I, I really, I really don't think though. Beyonce think was perfect. I think Rafael it's possible. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. But I, I think it's possible. I can't give you a straight answer like off the top, like I would those two. But I just think I I just think her musical taste because like and and not saying it's bad. I think Beyonce would be thinking big. You know what I mean? Right. She yeah. Thinking, okay, this is gonna be huge. Yada yada yada. And right, to me, right. that's to me, that's what happened with soundtracks um, after yeah. the nineties. That that it, that it became about selling the soundtrack as opposed to like putting the right music with the right scene. Oh yeah, yeah. You just don't want to. I mean, I had that same situation happen when I put together Hip Hop Doctrine. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want. I, I thought the show had a, a certain flow to it, a, cer- a certain aesthetic. So I exactly. said, you know, I see, I see these artists. So I get what you're saying. I get where you're coming from. Not to go off course. Yatiti Badaki, she's been on a lot of people's uh, minds and a lot of people's list as far as fan castings are concerned. And she recent, she recently, um, did an exclusive with ComicBook.com, and it says American God star Yatiti Badaki on why Marvel Studios need to introduce Storm now. It says the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe will inevitably see the debut of the X-Men, the team of mutants who fight to protect a world that hates and fears them. As fans make their own predictions and post opinions over which characters should play the iconic heroes, 
American Gods star Yatidi Badaki has made it clear that she wants to play the goddess of weather herself and former queen of Wakanda, Aurora Monroe, a.k.a. Storm. And now the actress has spoken up about the character. Um, it says, amid the Black Lives Matter protests taking place across the world in the wake of George Floyd's death, Badaki stressed that now is an important time to introduce Storm into the Marvel Comics universe. Cinematic, Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think that's, she, she got a point there. Like, if you're going to introduce, like, a key f- a character like that from an iconic group like that, which is pretty much a direct reflection of what we're going through right now, now is the time. Um, well, she- I definitely, I mean, I'm not, ca- I'm not calling her an unknown per se, but I definitely think when it, when it comes to, like, these next few um, Marvel titles, what, what, you know, as far as what their release is going to be, I really think the majority of these actors are going to be like unknowns or that's going to, these um, are going to be like their first big movies. And she goes on to quote, I love Storm because to me, she has always been a representation of the power of, bla- of a black woman. She is Omega level, a queen, a goddess. But Daki told comicbook.com as a child who had recently moved from Nigeria to the U.S. during a time of unrest, I remember being blown away by the powerful storm I saw on Saturday morning cartoons. This magnificent dark black woman looked like me and made me feel like there was nothing I couldn't do. Even though talented actresses like Alexandra Shipp and Halle Berry have played Storm in previous live action X-Men movies, but Doki feels like the character hasn't received the spotlight she deserves. We have deeply talented Oscar winners portray her and still it always felt like the Weather Witch was never given enough material on screen time. With all that black women do to push the needle forward, we should be celebrated, especially now, but Daki explained. So she she pretty much is stating like, you know, she thinks uh Storm should be on people's minds more, pretty much. Well, um, I agree with that. Um I definitely think she she's hungry for the role. Um Yeah. I, I'm anxious to see, you know, like I said, once again, I would love to see I've heard like of of, of all kinds of legendary um auditions and and screen tests and things like that where you know where somebody saw like hey that's it you know what i'm saying or this is that person i would love to see something like that what she would bring mm-hmm. um, um i think she as as, like as far as the uh auditioning uh auditioning right for the part. i do honestly i will I, I will say this i would like to see a darker storm this go around not knocking any of the last ones i mean i i, I don't think that that would be an issue, but yeah, I would definitely like to see uh, a darker storm. I know me and Cash talked about uh, DeWanda Wise even playing Storm. DeWanda Wise from uh, She's Got to Have It. I think she would make a great storm. So it's like it's it's a few, uh, you know, along with your TD Badaki. We'll see, but uh, I definitely agree with what she was saying as far as like now would be a dope ass time to like introduce at, at least right. her. You know what I'm saying? I don't be well, I mean, I, I mean, I've kind of been saying this for a minute now. I definitely think Storm will probably be introduced in Black Panther too. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Some kind of way, because like I said, I'm I'm already, you know, we we've talked about this before that Rogue is supposed to show up in the next Captain Marvel. Right. I actually think these next few films in Phase in Phase Four are going to set things up as far as like the Fantastic Four, as far as the X Men. I don't really know who other big names they're supposed to be bringing out, you know, next as far as like the next phase or what's right. going to be on the bus outside of like, you know, the Hawkeye situation and, and um, Moon Knight. Right. I think now is the time, especially with the sequel to Black Panther. Um, or at least like if even if it's sooner, like just get her in there or anyone from the X-Men for that matter, because like I said, it's a, a, a direct reflection of the times we're living in right now. So, yeah, yeah. I've been hearing certain things like Wolverine's going to come in, but he's going to come in as far as um, being Weapon X. Right. And I, d- I don't know if it's going to be like a major part of the story or, you know, how, how, how it's always been all kinds of Easter eggs throughout the whole MCU. Right. Um, you know, since the beginning. And sometimes characters not even being like present right but being, but being mentioned and like like we both know like we've seen things as far as like simon williams being mentioned a couple of times a few times in the mcu right yeah and i mean an actor and, and and we know that that's been in in uh in the marvel universe that's wonder man 
Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, who has, a, who has a connection to Vision and the Scarlet Witch as well as Ultron? Right. Uh, hopefully, we get some some more news pertaining to what's what, because uh, right now everything's a toss up. Crazy. Yeah, and man. I mean, and and speaking, and speaking of that, if these theaters are open soon, I've been hearing things as far as like they're gonna offer um, Black Widow where you can order it to your home and it'll, and it'll be like just paying for the ticket to see a movie. Like you'll pay a certain price and you'll be able to, you'll be able to stream it to your TV or whatnot, but only once you won't be able to record it. You won't be able to DVR it or save it or anything like that. It'll just be like going to the I'm theater. Cool. I'm, yeah. I'm good with that. I'm like I said, I'm, I'm <laughs> definitely yeah. good with that. You know, I, and, and actually I'm, I'm fine with that too, but I think the main complaint is, is going to be, you know, um, I, 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 and I don't really know how they're going to, I mean, do they already have their streaming service already where they can, you know, do it like that, where it can be like a one-time thing as far as like, I mean, of course they have a streaming service, but as far as right. being capable of being the support, something like that, we just send this out, you stream it out like one time, that's it. You keep people from trying to pirate the whole thing and right. you know what I'm saying? things like that. But, um, I, I'm, I'm like you, I mean, I'm cool with that. It'll be amazing to see. I, I wouldn't say amazing because they've been talking about things like that for like, you know, years ago, like this is what it's going to be like. It's going to be no more movie theaters. Of course, they didn't say that like, like a virus is going to wipe it out, of course, but right. they definitely do it. like, you know, really some people, you know, were actually thinking that theaters would have been gone by now, like totally. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, right now, kind of like driving, like, you know, just being a thing in the past, not like everything was going to come to your house well, or your phone. May, I mean, maybe. Uh, yeah. I mean, some people still want to go out. And 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 see these these uh, films in in the theaters and like I said I'm just trying to wait till the coast is a hundred percent clear <laughs> for I step man, I, my I'm, ass I'm probably, out. Not, I'm probably not gonna do anything to like 2021 you like know, something man. like that anyway you yeah know what I'm yeah like going make sure to a movie theater or, yeah. or something like that like I don't even want to go like in the winter you know of course we got like basketball season you know how much I like ball I'm like do I, I really want to go to a game that bad I'm just good with it being on ESPN. Yeah, exactly. I mean, as long as they got it on TV, I'm good. I mean, now like, they like I mean, the TV off probably. and say, "Yeah, go out and," and then I'm I have to really debate. But <laughs> but as long and as like, it's on really, TV, like, like hearing all these new cases right now with the beaches opening up down there in Florida and even the the riots, honestly, for that matter, right? People, some people aren't really paying attention to like all these red to all these rising cases because the situation of civil and social and racial unrest right now is like the big thing oh yeah definitely definitely but, but we're being hit again with like another rush of um positive covid 19 cases what's up this your boy why clef jean, clef jean. aka spider-man, Spider-Man. you already know i'm a superhero Spider-Man. what makes me a superhero come on come hip-hop on. marvel hip-hop marvel we got a lot from your block to the comic shop Okay out there in Marvel Land, face front, this is Stan Lee speaking. You've probably never heard this before, so anything is liable to happen. Hey yo, don't touch that dial, this is Hip Hop Marvels. You rocking with precise politics. From New York to NC and back again, man. I'll let your boy, peace. Before we continue on, I just want to uh, plug my sister Cash's new show, the Cash Rules Show. You can check that out on Cash uh, Rules. Cash Rules. Cash Rules Show. It's available on YouTube right now. So um, go to YouTube, search Cash Rules, and check out her latest episode. She has a few up there now. I think two or three. Two, I know for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So just you know, make sure you head on over to YouTube and check out the Cash Rules Show. Subscribe and put the notifications on so that you can. Be notified whenever she drops a new show. Check uh, her out now before the price go up. Yeah, <laughs> for real, for real. Yeah. So, and then also, um, if you have a a question or you you have like um, any type of um, Marvel or hip hop related question, email us at hiphopmarvels at gmail dot com. Um, we would love to hear from you, and um, you know, we'll we will answer. We will answer, and we will read it on the show. Don't nobody come from the left like how Sean Don did. If y'all haven't heard that episode yet with Sean Don's theory about um about who killed Batman's parents. 
<laughs> check, yeah. that episode, check that episode out, y'all. Check that episode out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Finney and St. Omer, a.k.a. Sean Dawn, the man of many hats, many titles, and many jobs. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, like I said, this wasn't going to be a too too long of an episode. I guess before we get on out of here, I'll let you know what I've been bumping and what I've been listening to. You can let me know. Um, so I'm still bumping that Freddie Gibbs, Alfredo, that Freddie Gibbs and Alchemist. Alfred. 100%. Still bumping that. So shout out to Freddie Gibbs, shout out to Alchemist on a dope, dope ass project. I'm, I'm bumping uh, De Niro Farrar. Uh, he has a new joint out called Soul Food. Uh, he's a Charlotte, North Carolina MC, and uh, he's, he's he's real dope. Um, I just, Charlotte, you know, Charlotte's putting some people out there now. You know, I guess he's next up at the Loop. You know, Loop just debuted um, a couple of months ago. Shout out to Big Poo, who's his manager. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, shout out definitely. To Reveal, that's the label he's on, y'all. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, and then another joint that I'm listening to is uh, Vice Soltrick. He has a joint fully entirely produced by DJ Flash of the Justice League and one half of Lineage with Finney and St. Omer. He has an album out called Trap, The Reality of All People. He's an Ohio MC. And uh, man, I've, I've been bumping that. Uh, shout out to uh, Vice Soltrick on, you know, on the bars and, and Flash with the production, man. It's, it's dope. Full of beats and bars, man. Okay, okay. Oh, and not to, not to mention, too, not to mention the album artwork is done by my bro, Miami Chaos. Shout out to Miami Chaos. Um, if you're not familiar with Miami Chaos, he he did the logo, our logo, our Hip Hop Marvel's Infinity Mike logo. And he does uh, some other graphics for us as well. Yeah, he's been in the game for a minute. Um, he did multiple mixtape covers of mine. He's worked with Double XL. He's worked with Source. He's worked with uh hip hop artists um on their album and single covers everybody ranging from Lil Wayne to Busta Rhymes, Rick Ross, French Montana, you name it. So yeah, shout out to my my homie, my bro, Miami Chaos on the album cover for Vice Soul Trick Trap, the reality of all people. Y'all make sure y'all check that out. Available on all streaming services and um yeah that's that's what i've been oh and then i guess i, I guess you say you could say my ratchet pick of the week <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> my ratchet pick of the week is boosie badass um he has a new joint called in-house and um that joint goes man if you want to get on your your you know your ratchet shit um he got he got a few joints on there he got a joint on there with uh bun b that i'm digging um and i mean he's just on that street shit you talk about the struggle and you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I've been digging it. Um, shout out to the homie Precise Politics. Okay. Just dropped a new joint with uh with with Drugs Beats, Uncle Tommy. Yes. Shout out to Precise Politics, Drugs Beats. You know what I'm saying? That 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 uh that that bars, bro. Beats and yeah. bars. He's um. I'm not gonna say that he's that he's gonna move past Calamari quite yet. Cause that was like, bro, I still bang that, but um. Uh, him and drugs again. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, yeah. That and that. And shout out to drugs beast who dropped his own, his own drum kit. Y'all got to get y'all got to cop that. I've yeah. heard some. I've heard some dope remixes. So shout out drugs beats. Y'all check out check out his website. Get that drum kit. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Shout out to Street Flavor E and T too. Uh, shout out DJ Samps. DJ um, Samps. You know what I'm saying? Street Flavor E and T. That's the fam. And, oh, and uh, also, if y'all get a chance, check out the indie this week that features a dope article on Cypher U featuring our people's Eshad, a.k.a. Eternal DMC, and Jerusalem, uh, Jerusalem. Yes, definitely. Yeah, check. make sure y'all check out that. Shout out to Indie Week, too. Indie Week be holding it down, you know, um, with with uh, everything that's that's going on with, you know, within the area, within the triangle, as far as the arts and music and Every Wednesday, y'all want to know what's going on in the Triangle? Pick up the Indie Week. You know, they're at different stores. They're at uh, at our public libraries, but I don't think they're open right now. Um, you, you can usually check out new issues at the bus at the bus terminal. Um, just anywhere. A lot of times where they had, like, newspapers, like, newsstands. Right. And, and, you know, like I said, people sitting there and, oh, you know, what's going on in, in the Triangle? You know, 
you know, who's coming doing shows. A lot of times we have like some dope stuff come through the area and people just don't know what's going on. If you want to know what's going on, check out the Indie Week. Yeah, what else are you listening to? I'll be honest with you, bro. I'm I'm still in a militant mind frame right now. So I'm still with the classic. I mean, there's nobody really saying it like that for hip hop right now in such an aggressive manner and such a loud manner and how everybody's speaking and being forceful. And right now, I'm I'm I need that kind of energy. So I'm still blasting my public enemy. I'm still blasting my ice cubes, America's most wanted. Um, X gland to the east backwards. Um right. <laughs> you know, so I'm 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 still I'm I'm still in that mind frame and a lot of times I call music, you know, mood. I can tell you know, some people could tell a lot of times what kind of mood I was in by the music I was playing. Right. And and, and right now and and even, you know, Holly, if you hear me about Tupac, I definitely gotta give him credit for what he was foreseen at the time. He was very prophetic, so to speak. Definitely. As well as what NWA and the Ghetto Boys and Public Enemy were projecting hip hop wise of what you know this is what's to come, right? And right. now it's here right now, and I definitely they are more so prepared for the soundtrack for this situation out here right now than what's being put out by artists right now. Oh yeah, most deaf, most deaf. You know most what deaf. what's being put out there right now. Not saying there's some dope stuff not being put out there, but it's not the mood of the country right now and and uh, what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So that's really what as far as, as what I'm listening to right now. Outside of like like you said, I'm still, of course, playing the um the Freddie Gibbs and Alchemist Alfredo. Right. I can't, right. you know, there's no way that cannot um not be in a rotation. I'm gonna check out some of the picks that you gave earlier. And I'm also still um playing Run the Jewel. I'm still bumping that too. I forgot to mention that, but yeah, still bumping that. Ooh la la, ah wee wee. So when I'm talking with a friend of mine, I'm like, how dope do you got to be? You where they don't want to. That's you know, ooh the ooh la la, ah wee wee. That's a simple sample. It is that they can get off Dwick, no problem. Yep. But you, how dope are you when they say, nah, we don't want to sample you. We want you to come in and just say it all over again. And then on top of that, then we're gonna have at the end, we're gonna have. Premier scratch that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, we can come and have Premier do like a, a 15 second scratch, 20 second scratch. <laughs> you know? Oh, and, and, and speaking of Premier, uh, shout out, rest in peace to Premier's mom. Yeah, yeah, major rest in peace to Premier's mom. Um, I seen Passed that. Away, bro, I didn't know he looked that much like his mother. Yeah, oh yeah. I seen that. I said, yeah. Pictures, bro, I'm like, yo. Yeah, they ain't no denying that. You know For what I'm real, saying? I'm like, he is just like his mom, nose and all, face. I'm like, ears. That is a hundred percent primo, but shout out rest in peace, Miss Primo. I'll call her Miss Primo. Yeah, Miss Martin. Miss Martin. I apologize. That is her name, Miss Martin. Yeah, man. So it's been a good show, Volume Two, Episode Sixteen, and uh, we'll be back for real, y'all. You know, stay safe out there because it ain't over. It ain't over. What Teddy say, Teddy Jam? <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> hey, the party ain't over. <laughs> it, it, it ain't the, re- the revolution ain't over. It ain't. Yeah. It ain't over. And it's not a full fledged re- revolution. Let me say that. But you know, change is gonna come. Yeah, for real. Keep that pressure up, y'all out here. I mean, we're de- definitely making some moves now. More moves than I've seen in quite a while in this country. So we got to keep this pressure up. I just want to make sure I tell all of our listeners and all our fans out there and all our supporters out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Keep on whatever. going. Keep on keeping on. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I also want to put this out there too. If you're a black owned business, um, within the Triangle area, or I mean any anywhere for that matter, though, I don't. It don't really matter where you're from. I, I just say Triangle area because you know this is where we're based out of. But um, if you're a black owned business and you want to um cross promote. And you want us to mention your, uh, you know, your brand or your business on a future episode, hit us up at hiphopmarvels at gmail.com. We got to keep this going, man. Keep the same energy. And also co- coordinate in your areas as well. We need, to, we, we need a serious network out here now. We need another green book all over again. If y'all not familiar with, with the green book, and, I, and I'm not necessarily talking about the movie, but I'm talking about actually finding out what the green book was to our people back in the day. We need those again. Yes, indeed. We need, we need networks of black businesses and we can reach statewide to countrywide. 
Definitely, definitely. Remember to listen, share, rate, and subscribe. We're on Pandora, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Google Play, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, CastBot, Stitcher, and more. Follow us on our we social out media. Here. Yeah, we out. We definitely out here. Follow us on our social media, Twitter and IG at Hip Hop Marvels, Facebook Hip Hop Marvels, all one word, and subscribe to the Hip Hop Marvels YouTube channel. Um, and like I said before, don't forget to tune in to the Cash Rules Show. Um, that's our sister Cash Collective's new podcast. It's called the Cash Rules Show. So go to YouTube, search Cash Rules Show, subscribe, and set your notifications to get future shows. Shout out uh, our other host, Claudius, shout Epic out. Brief Podcast. Yes, shout out Epic Brief Podcast, Claudius. Uh, shout out, what up, Chris? What up, Jamie? Um, we got to get them on 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 uh, Hip Hop Marvels and do like a full family network mashup. Have cash, have cash rules on here, Hip Hop Marvels and Epic Briefs have like one big mashup. Wow, <laughs> oh, wow. that'd be a crazy. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. You know, is that going to be our, our our inferno or you know, you know what I'm saying? I know. Yeah, well, we, I mean, that's nothing though. We set it up, but yeah, shout out to my peoples over at Epic Briefs Podcast. Uh, shout! Oh, shout! How can I forget Ryan? Shout out Ryan! I'm not forgetting anybody. Um, of course, you know we got to shout out our producer extraordinaire Ken C. Yeah, shout out Ken still, C. Still behind, still behind the scenes, y'all. Trust me, still behind yeah, the scenes. Still behind yeah. the scenes. Yep, definitely still behind the scenes. That's fam right there. That's definitely Squadron Supreme. Oh, shout out to my niece Yolani for graduating class of 2020. Uh, she's going on to go to Bloomfield College, and I'm so proud of her. Um, just recently. Uh, celebrated with her in Jersey this past weekend. So I want to send a big shout out to my niece, Yolani. Unk loves you and I'm here for you. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations, Congrats. young lady. Class of 2020 and the whole rest of 2020. I know mm-hmm. it was like, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure some of you young ladies and gentlemen never thought you'd see anything like this in, in your in your lifetime, but keep pushing through and um, make some things happen out here in the world. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So... Yeah, so with that said, man, stay marvelous, and we out. Peace. Dig this and dig it deep. We got a lock from your block to the comic shop. Sick and tired of struggling On the corner hustling Shoot ass and tussling Baby mama cussing me This record label was fucking me yeah. But it's gon' be, be gon' be, it's gon' be, be gon' be And I'm sick and tired of struggling On the corner hustling on the Shoot ass and tussling Baby mama cussing me This record label was fucking me yeah. But it's gon' yeah. be, gon' be, but it's gon' yeah. be, gon' be. But I just keep trucking it. I done fell in love with it. Pistol out safe, they play with me and I'm buzzing it. Burn so many times, now I'm struggling to trust. These bitches wanna fuck, now I'm struggling with lust. Asking God is there heaven for a nigga like us? Or better yet, me. But I don't wanna die just to see. Couple niggas changed up that was riding with me. Pete there think I might not say nothing, but I see. Four years straight, I was signed to a major. They ain't do shit for me. The lessons I learned later made me even greater. Hustle harder, and I'm grateful. Won't nobody give you shit. And streams come with the favors. Millie on the crib, and it came with no neighbors. Me, my sons, and my guns, and a whole lot of acres. Nights on the block, sir. Fiends like a waiter taking orders on the phone for niggas that want it catered. Root to all evil is the money. Get your evil up. Cold ass word, that's why I'm riding with my heater top. Yeah. And it's gon' be what it's gon' be. Yeah. Sick and tired of struggling. On the corner hustling. Shoot ass and tussling. Baby mama cussing me. This record label is fucking me. Yeah. But it's gon' be. But it's gon' be. It's gon be. It's gon be. And I'm sick and tired of struggling. On the corner hustling. Shoot ass and tussling. Baby mama cussing me. This record label is fucking me. Yeah. But it's gon' be. It's gon' be. But it's gon' be. It's gon' be. Niggas judge me, but don't know the half. Niggas count me out, but can't do the math. Pull up on the west side, they like you the man. I'm like, nah, I just had a plan. Shit, wouldn't be a real nigga if I ain't like to see my niggas win. Couple niggas got the city on 10. Much respect, don't let the hate reflect the nigga within. 
I'm still learning, my will still turning, foot on the gas. I ain't worried about the shit in my past, the people I pass. My only concern is will it outlast? Pay me in cash, free me at last. The whip never crashed, cause I'm in control. Can't fuck with the flow. I'm hot like a stove. The mouths that I drove got further to go. The shit that I wrote came straight from the soul. I'm fully exposed. I rose from the cracks. Rapping is whack. Don't fall for the trap. Put a pat on the back, cause niggas be capped. Fuck all my stats. Gain some respect. Fuck all my stats, nigga, gain some respect. Nigga tired of struggling, on the corner hustling, shoot ass and tussling. Baby mama cussing me, this record label's fucking me. Yeah. But it's gon' be, but it's gon' be, but it's gon' be. And I'm sick and tired of struggling, struggling. on the corner hustling, the shoot corner. ass and tussling. Baby mama cussing me, this record label's fucking me. Yeah. But it's gon' be, but it's gon' be, but it's gon' be. I remember telling mama I'm prepping now. Plus I got the 808 slapping down But all she wanted for me was the capping gown Don't get caught walking on the trapping ground But them streets calling my name Jay, we need some shit to make the trunk go bang It's getting tough to find like pure cocaine You want nobody to step in your lane Yeah, I ain't no shrimp, so don't try me like this My first time round the way I promise I ain't new to the game Spent the whole life being true to the game And we don't do no faking But no cameras We just out just making play It ain't worth a damn to me I got a real big fam to feed Coke sick and tired of struggling For a freezer, bitch, I'm freezer. Called a couple friends for the crew The tanner the new He went and told the manager too The phone rang We were asked to keep it down if we could Race Bannon went and hit him With an ounce of the good Keep that on the hush Next morning we was back on the bus She sent me a text Her friends they was asking about us My life is a party Matter of fact I'm the life of the party Get it popping like five in the morning You heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ember is forever Forever it will be Ember is forever To the comic shop. I can't get too hype on this one. I feel marvelous though. The lights on. Like how everybody going crazy. Shoot crazy. Yo, hey yo, a scary boss beefing with the muscle was deplorable. Heard your little record, I thought that shit was adorable. You know your name is real when the competition scared to say it. But got the nerve to call the flow basic. 
When I'm the reason that premiere knows your name, cocksucker, face it. So stop talking to these younger rappers like you made it. I let you hear the record, asking how you wanna play it. You chose to grab the white flag and wave it. I guess you remembered the burner in the glove compartment. I played it for you in the whip, right in front of your apartment. It's all facts, brother. Fuck the lyrical miracle shit. Keep it in the booth. You ain't built for the physical shit. Niggas pressing you in your own hood. Hit me on the jack. Nervous told you it's all good. Two bangers on me in the club and I was ready to do it. You must be out your fucking mind if you thinking it's music. And I would have took a bullet for my brother to prove it. Never sent shots to family. You hired to shoot it. The this record should ain't you. Stick to being a teacher. How the fuck I look beefing with a preacher? I should stop the record now and ride through. I see you when I see you, but you would most likely have a couple speaker, and this is how a loyal soldier get biz, would have laid my life down quick for you and your kids, stop fronting on me, talking shit like you got something on me, but every time you see precise, bet your bottom dollar I got something on me, I beat a rapper bloody till I got something on me, and since you wanna talk about time and your power, let's talk about Kevin in his finest hour, still on the web, just had a deal on the table, but you fucked it up, everything was buzzing off my pen, we was coming up, motherfucker. The rudiments, show me where your heart is at. Told your stupid ass about the talking back, especially the spitters that is fucking clap. You don't want no parts of that. Kick the first, yeah, you might have started that, but you know I brought the art to that. And you know I would have murdered anybody for you, brother. That's the hardest fact. If I'm lying, then I'm dying of a heart attack. Still living. My favorite rapper never made it, but he's still spitting. How could I blame you for the failure if I never failed? Get your story straight, little nigga, cause you the one that bailed. My son's mother barking on you, proving you was frail. Being real is being free. I'm sick of seeing you in jail. Guess you can take this as I sent the kite through the mail. Through the mail. <laughs> you can't be fucking serious, dog. No disrespect to be squared. I would never get mad at the dude that sold you the gun. You chose to kill yourself. Six months, and that's all you got? Some fucking men? Come on, man. Real talk. Dead it, man. Dead this shit right here, right now. You can't come back. Real talk. And every time you come back, I'm gonna keep stomping you. Shoot him, shoot him. Man, yeah, yeah. I had a father in my life, man. 
Never met a better man in my lifespan. Yeah, yeah. I had a father in my life, man. And on the Bible in the air is my right hand. Yeah, yeah. I had a father in my life, man. Woo. Yeah. To all the fathers out there doing their thing, it's love. To all the fathers out there that may not have done everything they wanted to do, it's love, though. To all the mamas out there that had to play both roles, it's love. Yo. Why so? DJ Flash. It's the reality of all people, y'all. Come on, come on. I think about it every night, man. Yeah, yeah. I had a father in my life, man. Taught me my wrongs and my rights, man. Yeah, yeah. I had a father in my life, man. Never met a better man in my lifespan. Yeah, yeah. I had a father in my life, man. And on the Bible in the air is my right hand. Yeah, yeah. I had a father in my life, man.